Good evening. Closing arguments have now concluded in the Dross rape case. The High Court in Pretoria is expected to deliver its judgment on Monday. The suspect, Nicholas Ninau, has pleaded guilty to repeatedly raping the then seven-year-old girl in the restrooms of a Dross restaurant in Pretoria in September last year. Ninau has also admitted to being in possession of drugs on the day and of trying to defeat the ends of justice. He has, however, pleaded not guilty to a charge of assault. Our reporter, Karaba Mosunambuka, is standing by for us with more on the story in our Pretoria studios. Karabo, good evening to you. Uh, firstly, what kind of argument came from Nicholas Ninal's lawyer? What argument did they make in his defense in this case? Good evening, Stephen, and good evening to the viewers. Um, today, um, the parties, both parties, the state okay. and uh, the defense, yeah, made I'm their sure closing um, arguments in, yes, um, uh, at the heard. Pretoria High Court. And um, that was uh, enough, according to the NPA, enough evidence um, for the, uh, the case to be handed down judgment on. And um, uh, Stephen, we know that um, Nicholas Nino, he pleaded guilty on Monday that he he raped um, um, the victim twice at a toilet cubicle in um, Dross, at a Dross restaurant in Pretoria. And he also pleaded guilty to defeating the ends of justice when he flushed the victim's underwear. And also um, he pleaded guilty for being in possession of drugs on that uh, day. And also, um, Stephen, uh, we remember that he did not plead guilty to charges of assault. However, yes, we, we heard the last and close arguments of both parties civil society groups were there political party um, parties were there and um, they were at first they were skeptical and they were not well with the fact that the the state has asked the victim to come and and testify but they were at ease today when um, the state said to the court that um, Nino might have had intentions on that day to rape a child because um, after the child's um, the victim's testimony it proved that there were some inconsistencies in Nino's um, um, testimony that the child, Nino had said that the child followed him to the bathroom, um, the toilet cubicle, and on the child's statement, uh, or rather the testimony, she said that no, um, Nino found her in the toilet cubicle, and that's when he raped her. And yes, but they were at ease, the civil society groups um, campaigning against women and child abuse um, were at ease finding out that Nino might have had intentions to rape on that day. And the NPA is also satisfied and happy that the court has accepted their evidence and they have accepted um, the victim's um, testimony and that they will see what happens. Hence, the judgment will be delivered on Monday. Um, and so what were the main points made in the closing arguments by the prosecution and the defense today? What did they actually say in court? Um, we could not get um, time to speak to the defense, but looking and judging by how they looked, they were a bit disappointed um, uh, that the, the, the state was very strong on their case, especially after bringing um, the victim to come and testify yesterday at the court. But they are also just waiting to hear what will happen um, on Monday when the judgment is handed down. Karaba Mosambuka, thank you very much indeed for that report live from our Pretoria studios.